You can meet anyone in this world, and I promise you one thing, if you see a burning desire in them, and you see the spark in their eye, I would invest in that person. I don't care about their qualifications. I don't care about their business background. I don't care. What I care about is if I meet someone, I see high energy, enthusiasm, and they say, I've got an idea, I want to hear that person. So my question to you is this. Look at yourself right now and ask yourself, do you trust your skill more or do you trust your character more? Or don't do an equal one because it's never equal. Which one? How many of you have a higher number with skill? How many of you have a greater number, a larger number, on the skill side? How many of you have a greater number on the character side? Interesting. So, assuming with that, all of you are running your own business or going to start, and you have a goal, I'm sure you're all very clear with your goal, right? Right? Yeah. I'm being sarcastic, right? I'm sure you all have great plans about how you're going to accomplish them. I'm sure your day is phenomenally well organized, structured. I'm sure that you're able to look at your productivity in the day. I'm sure you're really excited about your business and it gives you no pressure at all. You feel good about the fact that you're doing something. I'm sure you all know what you're building. And I'm sure that 80% of your time is spent on building your character, not your business, not your skills. I know it's the other way around, because people spend most of the time building up skill. Waste of time. I don't care. How many of you have been to time management classes? How many of you feel that time is a problem, managing time is a bit difficult? Be honest. How many of you are really good at managing your time? Okay, so the ones who didn't put their hands up, I'm assuming that you can't manage your time. Now, how many of you would love to go to a time management program? I won't waste my time. I won't, because I can't manage my time. My character, as it stands right now, I can't manage my time very well. So if I go to learn the skill of time management, am I going to learn it? Yes, I will. Am I going to use it? No. So now, my character, my belief is I can manage time really well. I do believe that. I think I'm very clear of the value of time. I have 24 hours in a day. It's like ice, a block of ice. It is melting, and eventually it will run out. That's my metaphor, this is time. So every single day I have a block of time. I have a block of time. I have morning, afternoon, evening, and night. Correct? I know between 8 a.m., for example, till 2 p.m., I know what I'm going to do. I know. Because my time is fixed about what I'm going to do here. I also know what I'm going to do between 2 and, say, 6. I also know what I'm going to do between 6 and 9. I also know what I'm going to do between 9 in the morning. Now, I know what I'm going to do every single day. You're going to say, what a boring man. How boring is that? But I know that my ice cube is melting. And as the years go by, that ice cube is going to melt. It's going to f then I'll finish my time. So in that time period that I have 24 hours, I have got lots of things to do. I need to build my character and I need to build my skill. So here's a question for each of you that are self-employed. Think about this. On a daily basis, how much time are you spending on building your character to suit the role for the movie that you are building? So the movie you are building is your business. So let's take an example. I would like to impact at least 5 million people over the next five years. That's my goal. Five million people, five years. I've got crystal clear the avenues that I'm going to do that with. I'm clear with that. I have a methodology in my head. I know what I'm going to do. I have an indication of, well, I have a clarity of what kind of turnover I'm going to do. Now, my question is, for me to impact five million people in the next five years, I now have to say to myself, do I match this role? Can Afin Khan create a movie or play the role of the person that can impact 5 million people? Can I play the role of the person that can impact 5 million people? 
I need to ask myself that. Do I have the skill? Yeah, I think I have the skill. Now, I'm still short of skill, so for me, on a skill level, I'm about 30%. I've got a lot to learn. I'm a little low there, in my opinion. Right? Now, in terms of character, can I, in my head, first of all I'm asking, can I envision or even imagine impacting 5 million people in my head? Can I imagine? And I can. I can actually imagine 10. I'm very clear with that. But I'm going to go for five. I'm quite happy. Five is like, Hojega, it's going to happen. Ten is like, uh, you know what? Maybe if I'm, but I want to go me. I, I know I'm the five million man. I'm the five million impact man. I'm, I'm clear. So I'm very crystal clear with that. I also know that my time is very easily managed. I've got 24 hours in a day. My ice cube is melting. The ice block is melting. So I value that. This is the most important commodity for me in the world is my time. So I know that between this time and this time, this time and this time, this time and this time, there are certain things that I am going to do no matter what happens. There are certain things I'm going to do. I'm going to try to become as scheduled as I possibly can. If I could find a way to know what I'm going to do every hour, I would love to be that person. I haven't got there yet, right? Because the more scheduled I am, the more productive I am. If I know that between 8 a.m. and 10 a.m., I'm going to do X, Y, Z. I also know what this is going to produce me. Great. If I go to the gym and I cycle 22 kilometers, and I know that will burn 600 or 580 calories, which means I can actually predict my productivity of that time. So if you're planning to run your business, or your life, by the way, because the way you run your life is how you're going to run your business. Open your cupboard. If your cupboard is a mess, your business will be a mess. Trust me on that. So I'm looking at my circle. I'm thinking to myself between 8 a.m. and 2 p.m., let me be more structured. Let me get to a point of being structured. Why not? How many people in this room, honestly, are very structured with their time? Look around the room. Every, four people. Game over. I'm serious. Because there's something, you know, in my faith, by the way, we're supposed to pray five times a day. It's fixed times. I always wondered, why is the timing fixed? I mean, it doesn't make sense to me. But I realize why it's fixed. Because when you do something over and over again, what does it become? It becomes a habit. So you automatically all think it's time to pray. Like cigarettes, people who smoke often smoke at the same time every day. They wake up in the morning and they'll smoke. Lunchtime, they'll smoke. Because it becomes a habit. So the more structured you are, the more, uh, more uh, productive you are. The more you're going to be the person you are. So the question number one is this. This is my question for you to think about. How clear are you with what you are trying to become? and what you're trying to build. If you can answer that question, the rest of it is mathematics. So, let me repeat. Who are you? Question one. Number two. Who or what is your business? Let's take McDonald's. McDonald's has sold 200 I don't know. I don't know. More burgers than you can imagine. But when McDonald's first started, what was the intention of McDonald's? Does anyone know? Real estate. McDonald's was a real estate company. Ray Kroc, the founder of McDonald's, decided to build the biggest real estate empire in the world. His goal was not to sell burgers. The burgers were a byproduct. He's looking to build outlets. He wants to become the biggest real estate owner in the world. And he said, what can make me do that? He, builds, he, he goes and buys this milkshake machine of these two brothers and starts McDonald's. Thinks fast food, no one's doing it. People are in a rush, go in, take your... I mean, if you think about it. You walk into a McDonald's and within two minutes, you've got your poison burger. You got your death trap in two minutes. It's amazing. 
You can go from being hungry to being poisoned in two minutes flat. It's fabulous, right? And you pay first, right? And, and I mean, but if you think about it, it's unreal. You walk into a Starbucks, and in less than 30 seconds, the coffee is made. It's, I mean, it's a miracle. It's like magic. So I'm saying Ray Kroc had decided to become the world's biggest real estate company. Did he achieve that? Hell yeah. 